Hi, this is Jessie and um, I'm just going to show you the three ways to search inside Radar Opus um, and take your rubrics. Okay, so the first way is to go into the repertory. I'm in synthesis at the moment, you can see up here synthesis, um, as if you would if you had the book. So we just click on the uh, little binoculars here and we go into the book. If we we're opening the book, we'd find all our chapters. Um, and the quick and easy way to search the chapters, you can click on all these chapters and go through it by clicking, or you can type it, which is easy. Um, I'm going to look up the rubric uh, right-sided throat pain. So I type it as if I was typing out the rubric. So I start with throat, and I come up with the throat chapter. And as you see, the little red box around it means that um, it is selected. So I can just press enter. Pain. There it is. Now you can see this little um, hand is pointing to pain. So I know that I'm going to take that when I press enter. And right. And there's the little hand again pointing to right. So if I then go enter, it will go into right. Now, I just want throat pain right. I don't want extended to or stitching. So I'm just going to go down here to go to. And there's my rubric. So to take this rubric, I go up to the clipboard here with the little arrow and I click on it. And it will appear in my clipboard over here. And if I click on this, I've gone into my analysis with my rubric. So I click back to go back into synthesis. I just go up to the tabs and click back on synthesis. So I'm just going to do that um, way of searching again, but just a little bit differently. So this time I'm going to click on the throat chapter, this little icon here, to go back into the navigation window. Now I've gone straight back into the throat chapter, so if I had any more rubrics about throat, I could start typing there. But I want to go back to the um, all the chapters, so I just press backspace or delete on a Mac, and I'm back. So uh, my client's a female, um, she's got painful menses, and they're painful at the beginning, so I'm going to start typing female. And the red box is around female, so I can press enter. Menzies. And it's pointing to Menzies, so press enter. Pain. Just typing in pain. It's pointing to that pain. I don't want painful. Uh, no, I want painful. So I'm going to, I can either keep typing or I can just uh, press down on my keyboard to make the little hand go to the rubric, the, um, the word that I want. And I press enter and it's only at the beginning, so I'm going to type beginning. Now, there's no more pluses here, so I know that if I press enter, I'll go straight to the rubric. So there's a suggestion under this rubric, pain, uterus, menses, during, beginning of menses, ag. So I might want to go and look at that rubric, and I, I can just by double clicking on it. Um, that one might suit my case better, but just for now I'm just going to take this rubric, and this time instead of clicking on the clipboard, I'm just going to hold my mouse down and drag it over to my clipboard. And there it is, it's gone from one to two, if I click on the clipboard, I've got both of those rubrics. So I'm going back to synthesis. And I'll just show you one more way to do it this way. Um, if I click anywhere in this text up here, it's going to take me to wherever that is in the book. So if I click on female, it's going to take me to that chapter. If I click on female menses, it's going to take me to that part, etc. So let's just go female menses. I'm just going to click on painful. And here you can see that I've gone straight back to painful. So I might have some more uh, rubrics I want to search within this female means he's painful or if I want to get as I want to get rid of the words I just press backspace delete now I'm in female gen female menses 
if I want to get into female, I go backspace again. Now I'm in female, and if I go backspace again, I'm back in the chapters. So this time I'm going to look for um, abrupt, mind abrupt. So I'm already in mind, so I can buy the red box. So I just click enter. I'm just going to type abrupt. My hands there, enter. Now I've got two options. I can go into mind abrupt or I can go mind abrupt affectionate rough or harsh. Now there's no hand there, so I need to press downwards on my keyboard to get the hand up and choose which one I want. I'm just going to go with harsh and then I can press enter and it's taken me to that. So just to clarify, just click on the key, uh, the clipboard with the little arrow and if I click on the clipboard it's in my analysis. Okay so the second way to search is up here in this little window. So say I wanted my a timid, I've got a timid client, I'm, so I type in, you can type in a single word, a couple of words or the rubric up here. I'm just going to type in my timid, it's come up with the suggestions of the word, click on timid and I press enter. And this is the single search window. So if you were to go up to search up here and go to this one search, not advanced search, but search, this is what would come up. So and it's given me all the suggestions that could possibly be with those two words. So I'm going to go with timidity, double click on that. And as you can see, there's timidity and underneath is all sorts of suggestions that may suit my case better, um, rubrics that I may not know, um, that I can go through and see, right, they have something to do with timidity, um, that kind of person, and I can look through and see if any of those rubrics fit my case better. I like that about Radar, it um, brings up a lot of suggestions for you, which is great. So I'm going to go back to this window and we'll do one more. It's, uh, it's a good one because it's only a small window. You can drag this little line bigger and see more of it. Um, but you could do a keyword soda. Let's click enter. Mind Delusions Soda Water, here's a bottle of. See bottle. And click on the blue. That's a link, the little blue one. Bottle, soda water, here's a bottle of arginate. So that's your little window there. Okay. That little window is basically this um, search window. Okay, so the third way is to go to the, oh, pardon me, search, advanced search. So this is the one I use all the time and the one I like the most. Um, it has a search word window for words um, and you can pop your words in, in any order and it will search through the engine. Um, you don't have to put it in uh, rubric format. You can search your remedies in here. You can search for families and you can search for pathology and cases and chapters in here as well. So even though it looks like a lot of windows, it's, it's actually really handy. Okay, so I'm going to search for ailments after anger. So she gets mad, she gets sick. Um, and so I'm going to put anger. Anger, the suggestion comes up. So I can either click on it or press enter. And then tab to go down. And then I've gone, oh. I'll just put that it's ailments. That will give me a bit more of a closer search. So I'm just going to pop those two in, then go up to this little magnifying glass and press enter. And these are all my options. So if I double click on that, ailments after anger. And there, there's another suggestion, mania, vexation after. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one I'm just going to pick up with my mouse by clicking on it and dragging it over again. If I click on that, I go back to my analysis, which is up in this tab as well. 
and there they all are. So I've got synthesis open, I've got my search window open, I'm just going to click on search again. Now to get rid of these windows, I just click on the X, X, okay, and I click back into it. And I'm just going to search up um, a ravenous appetite, she's starving all the time, so um, I go ravenous because I'm going to do it all out of order of how it would be in the rubric. And now I'm going to go, oh, well, it's your appetite. And that's ravenous. Yep, and I click enter and then tab. And, hmm, well, it's a new stomach, I guess. I want to make sure it's going to be in that chapter. So, and I click stomach, click enter, and then I can click on my little magnifying glass to launch the search. Here we go. Stomach, appetite, ravenous, time modalities, other modalities, etc. So I'm just going to double click on stomach, appetite, ravenous. Yep. And there's a couple of suggestions down there. And I'm going to just take the rubric with my clipboard. Now I've got five rubrics. I'm starting to, oh, see, the thesis is coming up. So just quickly, um, I'm just going to show you how to search for remedy in this advanced search, which is my preferred way of searching for remedies. I'm just going to go for NUX. Now as I type NUX, a couple of suggestions come up. Now I want NUX Wimica. Now if I hit launch the search now, it will bring up all the rubrics that have NUX in it. Heaps and heaps and heaps. So if I'm in my di differentiation and I'm like suspecting NUX, it looks and it smells like a NUX. Um, but maybe I have some ear symptoms and I'm not sure that, it, um, that it's a NUXy thing. I can put some keywords in here. I can put a whole bunch of keywords in here and then I can launch the search. And I will look for all the rubrics with the ear in it and also have Nux Wamaka in it. So here I go and I can just double check maybe that it's um it's matching my case. Now there's some um, good rubrics in there. Uh, maybe I want to change the rubric size. Maybe I'm getting too many over a hundred rubrics or massive, massive rubrics. So I can click on this little blue guy. Now I can choose to search for, say, the plain italics, bold and really, really bold degrees. Or not to. Um, and I can tick on this and have rubrics containing more than or, more than, exactly less than, or equal to, or less than. So I want less than 100 remedies in my rubrics. And I've changed that search and then I just click on OK. And I can launch the search again. Let's be sure.